Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Brittany from Every Bit Helps and today we are going to be taking you through Coinbase Advanced Trade. If you're looking to save money on trading fees or if you are looking to create more advanced trades then this is going to be the video for you. What this essentially means is that you can set limits, stop orders, check real-time orders books and you can dive into advanced charts powered by TradingView. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of extra features in there. So this is a full beginner's guide, which is going to give you an overview of Coinbase Advanced Trade. And for those who are brand new to Coinbase, first of all, hello, welcome. We're going to be showing you how to buy on Coinbase Basic Trade. And then we'll dive into how to save the fees and trade of limit market and stop limit orders in this walkthrough. So don't worry if this all sounds a bit alien, we're going to explain. And on top of all of that, we're going to teach you how to sell and withdraw from Coinbase too. So all the basic foundations will be covered. Don't worry if you don't want to go through the whole video, we're going to put a timeline down below so that you can skip to the parts that you need to get to quickly. And if you're curious to find out more information on Coinbase Advanced Trade or Coinbase, any of their products, check out our website. We have a lot of articles on there. You can have a search, find the info you need. So we'll put that down in the description box below. Right, now that we've got what we're doing in the video out the way, let's go into a little bit of detail about Coinbase Advanced Trade. First of all, Coinbase.com is one of the most popular platforms for buying, selling, transferring, and storing digital currency, such as Bitcoin, etc. Coinbase is pretty user friendly, so if it's your first time buying crypto, etc., it's very easy to do. You can buy it with a credit card and get crypto very quickly. So, Coinbase may be great for beginners, but there are going to be people who want to use more advanced features, such as stop orders, tracking real time order books, and exploring charts. So, Coinbase created Coinbase Pro. This was their first advanced platform that they made. So, Coinbase fees were notoriously high, so it kind of put people off a little bit trading on their platform. Coinbase Pro was actually a lot cheaper when it came to fees. This is pretty great because it means that people buying crypto wouldn't have fees eating into their profits. But in 2022, Coinbase announced that they would be sunsetting Coinbase Pro. This was said to give customers a streamlined trading experience and to access all other popular Coinbase features from one account. So this means all Coinbase Pro users would be migrated to Coinbase Advanced Trade. So what's the difference? Coinbase Advanced Trade still has the same real-time order books, liquidity and low volume base fees as Coinbase Pro. Plus it allows experienced traders a way to buy, sell and trade their crypto assets across various trading pairs using more advanced order types. So with Coinbase Simple Trades, you enter the amount you want to buy and click buy and your purchase happens automatically. But if you want to take more control over a trade, for instance, because you think the prices are going to move up and down in the future, you can toggle on to advanced trade and manually set your preferred price. Plus, you'll be trading with lower fees. Synergizing the two platforms was a reason that they sunsetted Coinbase Pro. <laughs> Coinbase traders can also use advanced charts, which are powered by TradingView. Now, with Coinbase Advanced Trade being integrated with Coinbase.com, it means that you don't have two separate platforms. This basically means that users can get access to all of the features that Coinbase offers, such as rewards, borrow, card, and the Coinbase wallet. So what actually are the differences of Coinbase Pro, which they are sunsetting, or Coinbase Advanced Trade, which they are now integrating into their platform? To be honest, it's really not a huge lot. The fees are basically the same, which are a 0.4 for maker, a 0.6 for taker orders. We'll explain that a little bit more in the walkthrough. So this means that you can earn up to 7% APY on your USDC or your staked ETH and many others. All 350 market pairs are supported on Coinbase Pro with the same liquidity. Order charts are the same. However, there are more advanced charts thanks to TradingView being integrated into Coinbase Advanced. And also you'll be able to access Coinbase Advanced via the Coinbase app, but you will need to update your app to the latest version. So let's jump right into the tutorial. I'm going to hand it over to Louise to show you how to buy and sell and to essentially use the platform. And we're going to start by heading across to Coinbase.com. If you are brand new to Coinbase, I'll have my link in the summary, which will give you a Bitcoin bonus to get started with. Signing up is pretty easy to complete, but if you do need a little bit of extra help, we've got a written step-by-step -step guide available on our website. Then once you've either signed up or logged in, you'll then reach the home screen with quick links at the top of the screen for simple buy and sell orders. You can send and receive crypto into your Coinbase account. 
view any notifications by clicking onto the bell icon. And you can access Coinbase's other products and services by clicking on the grid icon here. And this includes the Coinbase wallet for storing your crypto. Plus you can also access Coinbase's NFT marketplace. There's also the Help Center and more options here for businesses and developers. Then finally, you've got your profile icon, which is where you can manage your profile, amend your settings, run reports, or switch from dark to light mode. In the center of the screen, you have a link to your balance, and this will track the performance over time. There's a watch list that you can add crypto to, and some related news articles, with some top movers over on the right. Under My Assets is essentially your detailed portfolio. The trade screen is where you can buy and sell crypto with simple or advanced trading. And this is what we're going to be concentrating on today. Then there's ways that you can earn with your crypto. And there's a list of assets here and all their associated interest APYs. You can learn and earn crypto rewards. Under Pay is where you can send and receive cryptocurrency in and out of your account. And then under More are links to advanced trade again recurring buys, and Coinbase NFT. Now let's take a look at how to buy crypto first by choosing to buy sell at the top of the screen. This is a simple buy, which will automatically and instantly buy your crypto at the market price that Coinbase dictates. By default, Bitcoin is selected. However, if you want to purchase another cryptocurrency, you can select from a wide range here. And this includes the likes of Ethereum, Dogecoin, or stable coins that are matched one to one with the US dollar. For the purposes of today's tutorial, I'm going to select Bitcoin. And you can then choose how you want to pay for your Bitcoin. I've already set up a bank card, plus I have a GBP and a Euro wallet. If you haven't already set up any payment methods, you can do so by choosing add a payment method. And the options that are available to you will vary depending on your location. You then enter in the amount that you'd like to buy but you can buy with as little as you like pretty much with the smallest amount in GBP being £1.99. I'm going to buy £100 of Bitcoin, which I'm going to pay for using my bank card. When I preview my buy, as you can see, it then shows me the price that I'm going to be buying Bitcoin at and the fee that I'm going to be paying is £3.84, which is pretty high and it's definitely going to eat into my profits here. If I went ahead with this order, I'd get £96.16 pence of Bitcoin, and it would instantly be available over on my assets screen. But I'm not going to go ahead with this order, as there is a much cheaper way to buy this. And this is where advanced trade will come in, as the fees there are lower. So this time, if we head across the left-hand side of the screen, and choose trade. By default, at the top of the screen, I'm on the symbol tab. And this is the type of order that we've just looked at, but it's just displayed a little bit differently. You have a list of all the different cryptos that you can buy, which you can track in terms of price, change and market cap. And you can also choose to buy it or you can add it to your watch list. If you choose buy, you're going to be presented with the exactly the same screen that we had earlier, which is also available on the right hand side of the screen here. But as I said, the fees in buying this way are a bit high. So let's choose the advanced tab now from the top of the screen. From here, you can search market pairs, or you can view all markets or individual markets, which you can filter by. Then view all the different trading pairs, which are essentially what you're trading from and to. So for example, if you want to trade from GBP to BTC, i.e. you're buying Bitcoin with Great British Pounds, you can choose GBP at the top, then select BTC hyphen GBP. And the same would apply for euros or US dollars. However, before we can go ahead and trade or swap these two, we need to deposit some GBP to trade with. This can be deposited from the My Assets screen on the left hand side of your screen. And this shows all of my portfolio. In here, I've got a British Pounds wallet, which has a very small balance, but I want to add some money into that so that I can trade with it. In other words, buy Bitcoin with. So if I click onto that and choose Add Cash from the right hand side of the screen, here I can send cash across to these bank account details from my online banking account. And there's two really important parts to this when you do send your funds across. This is that it exactly has to match the name on your account. 
and you also have to include the reference number that's shown up on your screen, as this will essentially match your bank transfer and the account together. With faster payments, this is usually done on the same day. And one thing to mention here is that it is all done with zero fees. So I'm going to go ahead now and send across £100. And for me, that took about 10 minutes, and I use my Revolut account to transfer the money across. And if you are interested in finding out which banks are crypto friendly, we've also got a post available on our website that you can check out. Once your payment is cleared, it will be displayed under your assets in the wallet that you funded, which obviously for me is British Pounds. If you already have some crypto that you want to trade with as opposed to fiat currency, you can also deposit crypto by choosing send and receive from the top of the screen. Then click on to receive. And here is where you'll find your wallet address that you can copy. So you can send your crypto across to this address, or you can also scan the QR code with a mobile device. Just ensure that as it states here, if you're sending Bitcoin, that you only send Bitcoin to this address. Otherwise, you'll risk losing your crypto. If it's your first time, maybe send across a smaller test amount first before you send across all your crypto, just in case you make a mistake. Then once you have some assets or some crypto to trade with, we can head back to trade and then the advanced trade screen. I'm going to select that trading pair again, which was BTC hyphen GBP, as we're going to be swapping or trading Bitcoin in British pounds. And we're then presented with the trading screen, which I do know can look a little bit daunting with flashing lights and charts. However, I'm going to take you through the screen first so that you understand exactly what you're looking at in case you're not familiar. Then I'm going to show you how easy it is to buy crypto using this. So at the top of the screen, you've got the trading pair, which as I mentioned is what you're swapping from and to. If you change your mind and you want to swap for a different type of pair, you can select a new trading pair from the drop down. You've then got your last price for the pair that you've chosen and the change shown as a percentage. The 24 hour volume, high and low. Then underneath is the price chart, which you can track over periods of time. You can also change some of the indicators and from candles to lines or bars. And underneath that is the depth chart. If you're unsure how to read any of these charts, you can click on the question mark here. And there's a really helpful article that you can take a look at. You've then got your order book on the right with potential sell orders in red and buy orders in green. And an order book is a list of current buy orders, which are also known as bids, and sell orders, which are also known as asks, for a specific type of asset. These order books show the price buyers and sellers are willing to pay. And it also shows you how many units that they're looking to buy or sell at each price. On the far right is then where you have the section for placing your trades. And you have a trade history underneath with all the orders that have already filled. What I'm going to do is show you how to place a trade. So we're going to start off with a buy order and then I'm going to show you a sell order afterwards. So make sure you're on the buy tab. And there are three different order types that you can choose from here, which are limit, market and stop limit orders. I'm going to start with the most basic, which is a market order. And it's most like the order that you can place with the simple order screen as the Bitcoin or whichever crypto that you've chosen to trade with will be available immediately from your assets. So with a market order, you're going to be buying or selling your crypto at the current market price. You simply enter in the amount that you want to swap, or you can use the slider to select a percentage of your portfolio. And the estimated fee that you're going to be paying will be shown below, and that's at 61 pence. So as you can see, we're already getting a substantially lower fee compared to the £3.84 that you were going to be paying for earlier with the same order on the same platform. Once you choose to buy BTC, it'll then show success. And the order will fill immediately and the Bitcoin will be available from your assets. When I click onto Bitcoin and then wallet from the top of the screen, I can then click onto that buy transaction and it will show me the breakdown of when it was placed, the amount, the exact fee, which is actually 60 pence, and the total amount. So that was an incredibly easy way to save yourself some money when it comes to buying crypto. And a few pounds might not seem a lot initially, but these can certainly add up the more you trade or when you're trading in higher quantities. Now, if you're not in a rush for your order to fill, and maybe you only want to buy Bitcoin when the price reaches a certain value, 
there are other order types that you can use. These are called limit and stop limit orders. So let's take a look at placing a limit order first. With a limit order, you define the price that you want to pay for your crypto. So when the price falls to a certain amount, you can choose to buy. Or if it reaches a certain value you're happy with, you could choose to sell. The example that I'm going to show you for this limit order is going to be on the sell side, but it'll work in the exactly the same way when you're buying. The only thing that changes is the colour from green to red and these buttons underneath for your limit price, which we're going to come back to in a moment. So I'm going to sell my Bitcoin and essentially cash out and take some profit, which may not actually be possible for me right now as I've literally just bought Bitcoin and the price is currently dropping. But I'm going to show you this just as an example. So first of all, I'm going to make sure I'm on the sell tab. And this time we're going to select limit. And this is where we can define the price that we want to sell our Bitcoin at. So the current market price is around £13,948. But let's say that we want to sell our Bitcoin and take some profit when the price reaches £14,000. Well, in here, you can manually type that price in. Or alternatively, you could say that you want to sell at the mid price, the ask price, or when it's 1%, 5%, or 10% up. Then you put in the amount that you want to sell. And again, this is similar to a market order where you can either type this in or you can use that slider again to select a percentage of your portfolio. The estimated fee will then show and this order will now either be at 0.4% or 0.6%. And the difference between these two is whether or not the order is a maker or a taker order, which I'm just going to explain very quickly now. So a taker of the market pays 0.6%. And this is someone who places an order that is automatically matched on the order book as you're taking the current market price. Whereas a maker of the market pays less at 0.4% and is placing an order that is not automatically matched and essentially this user is making the market. Then when you're happy, you can then choose to sell BTC. And the difference here now is you can see that your order doesn't automatically place and fill. Your limit order will only be filled if the exchange can match a seller for the amount that you've stated or higher. Of course, there's no guarantee that the market price will actually reach that value again. So your limit order may never be filled. If this is the case, you can cancel your order before it's been filled. And this is also handy if you do make a mistake. To cancel an order, you scroll down to the orders at the bottom of the screen and choose cancel order then you can simply go ahead and try again. If you want to track any open orders that you may have, you can also do this from the trade screen and head over to order management on the right hand side, where it'll then show you any open orders at the top and information about each one and its status and you can also choose to cancel all from here. And when you click onto an individual order, you can also view market at the bottom of the screen, which will then take you back to the trading screen. If your order hasn't yet been filled, you'll just need to wait for the market to reach the price that you've set. And once the order has filled, your GBP balance will then reflect under your assets. I'm going to quickly explain what a stop limit order is next. So a stop limit order is made up of two different parts, the stop price and the limit price. And a stop limit order allows you to automatically place a limit order to buy or sell when an asset's price reaches a specified value, which is known as the stop price. This type of order can help traders to protect profits and limit losses. So you could set the stop price to be £13,000 and a limit price at 12950 This will ensure that once the stop price is reached, the limit order, if triggered, will execute at that price or higher. And in a fast moving or a low liquidity market, this can protect you from trading at an undesired price. While your portfolio value would drop, selling your Bitcoin via a stop limit order may reduce further losses if prices were to drop even lower. But moving on, let's head over to my assets so that we can take a look at withdrawing. Whether you've bought Bitcoin or another crypto, or you've sold it for a fiat currency like GBP, US dollars or euros, it is worth withdrawing from Coinbase when you're not trading. Keeping your assets on an exchange is not recommended as you don't have control over your crypto. Crypto exchanges can get hacked or they can run off with your assets. 
So we'd always recommend withdrawing your crypto to the likes of a hardware wallet, such as a Ledger or a Trezor, which we'll link below. Or you can withdraw your cash back to a bank account. So I'll show you how to withdraw your crypto first. So if we choose send and receive from the top of the screen, and we need to ensure that we're on the send tab, you then enter the amount of crypto that you want to send, or you can choose to send all. You then simply enter in the address of where you'd like to send it to, and this would be your wallet address. I'm just going to paste in my Bitcoin Ledger wallet address now. And it's important that you only send Bitcoin to a Bitcoin address and not to an Ethereum address, for example, as you will risk losing your assets. Unfortunately, in the world of crypto, transactions are non-retractable. So if you're feeling a bit nervous or if it's your first time, we'd recommend sending a smaller test amount first before you go ahead and send across all your crypto. And you can also add in a note for this transaction and then choose to continue. Here is where you'll get an idea of how long it's going to take for your crypto to reach your account, which is currently sat at 30 minutes. And the network fee that you're going to be paying for the transaction to be completed on the network, which as it states will vary depending on the network usage. When you're happy, you can continue. And the crypto will then send to the wallet address that you've chosen. Next, let's take a look at withdrawing your fiat currency or essentially cashing out. My balance is in GBP, so I'm going to select British pounds from my assets. And if I click onto cash out on the right, I can then enter in the amount or I can choose to cash out all and then continue. As you can see, I've got a few different options available. And again, these will depend on your location. My options are to withdraw to a bank account or PayPal, and both of these are fee free. If you want to add a payment method such as PayPal, you can then choose to add a bank account. And you'd then be redirected to link your PayPal account. I've already got a bank account set up, which I'm going to withdraw to now. So if I choose to continue, you'll then see a preview. And as it states, the funds will arrive instantly. And you can then choose to cash out now. My withdrawal was instant into my Revolut account in just seconds. And you can view the transaction from here too if you wish, where it will then show you the breakdown of your withdrawal as well as the status. Okay guys, that's all we have time for today. Thank you so much for tuning in and we hope that this was helpful to you in some way. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give us a like and a follow. It always helps us out to keep bringing free education to you guys. Make sure to check out our other socials like TikTok, Instagram and Twitter. We share lots of short form content on there. And if you want more in-depth tutorials and more information, head to our website at Every Bit Helps. And thank you so much for joining everyone. Bye.